Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about how Crypto.com just got a new license. I want to take a look at the overall crypto market and kind of give you my opinion on where I think we're headed here. So without further ado, we're at 10,200 subscribers. When we reach 25,000 subscribers, we're giving away a loaded Lion NFT, guys. Super excited. Subscribe right now. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin, the entire market is looking pretty nice. We're up about 5% today. Bitcoin dominance level, 50.35%. And this is including stable coins. When you pull stable coins out, we're probably sitting at about 52%, which is quite incredible. And um, I think that we'll probably be trading at that for a little bit of time, especially if Bitcoin continues to make these large moves to the upside here. But guys, are we out of the woods yet? In my opinion, the very, very key price level is 32700 this level right here. We're close. We are close. We are close. But we need to see these daily candles break above that and hold before I'm going to say, okay, we're off to maybe new highs of, well, not new highs, but new highs for the local top area, maybe talking about $48,000. But I do think that as of right now, yes, it's bullish. Do I think that we're going to new all-time highs right now? No, not necessarily. Need to see some continuation. It's a little bit too early to say that we're going to be making huge moves like that. However, enjoy this price action. We are making moves to the upside. It's great to see Bitcoin above 30000 We want to see a break above 32700 If we get those daily candle closes above that, my next target is probably around 38000 But as of right now, we're going to take this one day at a time and see where we get these weekly and daily candle closes at. But let's talk about Crowcoin. Crowcoin is back above this key level. It did exactly what I really was expecting to happen. There was two outcomes. The first outcome was either we were going to slowly bleed down until we filled this wick down here, or we were starting to bottom out and make a nice recovery like that. And that's what I was leaning into as we were starting to bottom out. I noticed that we were starting to curl back up. The sellers were getting tired. But now we are having a daily candle close above this key level of 5.5 cents, which is very important to see. Um, once we get more candles closing above here, we're going to start to see this momentum come back up to 0 0.0689 cents, about the, about the 7 cent mark. That is a very, very key level here on Crypto.com Crowcoin. Guys, Crypto.com has a new license with Spain. With this license, with this registration, Crypto.com may offer a suite of its products and services to users in Spain, the exchange said in a statement. That could mean anything from them being allowed to offer their own exchange. It could mean that they can offer leverage trading, options, really in my mind, when they have a huge news article about this and how Spain is, Spain welcomes Crypto.com as a registered service provider. That's huge news. In my opinion, that means that basically they have free reign, and this, this is a way of Spain saying, hey, cryptocurrency people, we're, we're for it. We want cryptocurrency innovation. I love to see this. This is huge for Crypto.com, guys. The more licensing Crypto.com has and the more regulation, regulatory... Um, prowess they have, the better it is for the company as a whole. And to be frank with you, Crypto.com, knock on wood, has been attacked so much, but as of late, not very much. The main people that were in the target when the scope was Binance and Coinbase. And well, it's funny how that got, there was so much FUD, it was peak FUD. And then a few weeks after that comes BlackRock and all these huge, massive institutions coming out about how they're filing for Bitcoin spot ETFs. It's pretty incredible, guys. But um, over on the S&P 500, it gives us a little bit of a better picture of where the market's headed as well. Guys, we are very, very close to breaking above this key level at 4,600 on the S&P. If we get weekly candle closes above this, I do think we're going to test the previous all-time highs at 4,800. If we break above the 4,800, I think it's going to be very, very bullish for the overall cryptocurrency market and the traditional market as a whole. I do expect something like this happening, a cup and handle where we test the previous high, come down, and either get rejected or we start to make a true bullish cup and handle formation. Usually, cup and handles uh, trend bullish over 
bearish. So I do think that there's something like that could easily play out, especially because people are getting more and more eager to deploy their capital, even though, honestly, right now with all these interest rate hikes, it is quite interesting to see people being more bullish. I mean, honestly, I think there's a lot of people that just had tons of money on the sidelines and they're starting to file in, even though Jerome Powell came out and said that we're going to have two more rate hikes and we may not see rate cuts for up to two years. Very intriguing stuff, guys. Very intriguing to see uh, liquidity flowing into the market amidst that. But it, doesn't, it does make sense to see liquidity flowing into the cryptocurrency market because, quite frankly, where else is your money safe right now? Which is absurd to say, rewind five years ago, I would never expect myself saying that, but Bitcoin seems like the true safe haven asset. I remember that was like a meme at one point, but now it truly is becoming that a safe haven asset. We'll see how it how it all plays out in the next year or so after the Bitcoin halving, but as of right now, it's the, it's the safe haven asset. But guys, if you like this type of, type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Awesome to see Crowcoin back in this trading channel here between 5.5 cents and 6.0689 cents. But guys, new licensing. Very bullish, very bullish. I love to see this news always coming out, especially during the bear market. They're building in the bear market. They're not running away when the when the price and the money goes away. They're still working and building. That's what you want to see in a, with a cryptocurrency company. But guys, that's all I got. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.